Hi, welcome back to class. I want to talk about some of the best resources that you can use for the study of the Psalter. Uh, there's a bibliography available, but I wanted to highlight a few of my favorite elements. First, a book that's uh, it's a thin volume, but it's an excellent one. Walter Brueggemann's book, The Message of the Psalms. You'll see in my introductory videos that I use his uh, schema of, of Psalms of orientation, disorientation, and reorientation. This isn't a commentary, but rather it's an introduction that introduces Brueggemann's sort of hermeneutical approach to the Psalms, and he does offer comments on selected critical Psalms within the, the schema that he sets up for the whole Psalm. So I, I, I highly recommend this particular book. As far as preaching the Psalms, this is by J. Clinton McCann. I'm going to suggest really three resources by McCann. This is also by James Howe. It's an excellent book full of historical references to the Psalms. It talks about how to use the Psalms in teaching and preaching. I also recommend his introduction to the Psalms, the theological introduction to the book of Psalms, the Psalms as Torah. Uh, McCann is influenced in his reading of the Psalms by the commentary by James Mays on the Psalms and James Mays's work. Uh, and you can use also McCann's full length commentary. I only have an electronic copy of it. It's his commentary is found within the New Interpreter's Bible commentary series. And you can read his notes on the Psalter there, but this is an excellent, again, and a thin resource. James Mays, who I consider really one of the giants in the 20th century interpretation of the Psalms, has this handbook, and this can go along with his excellent commentary on the book of Psalms that, again, I consider this particular work one of the best commentaries written on any biblical book ever. So James Mays, outstanding uh, resources that we can use. Besides the, the, the commentary by James Mays, the other major resource that we have, and, and this I use this typically as a class text as well, is the Book of Psalms in the New International Commentary series in the New Testament. This is a fantastic resource. An undervalued commentary, which I is one of my go-to, this is two volumes, they're both about the same size. This is by Richard Clifford in the Abington Old Testament Commentary series. Clifford offers real reflection. He is a, a, a graduate of Harvard University, studied with Frank Cross, who is one of the giants in biblical studies in the 20th century. And Clifford brings his reading skills as a uh, Roman Catholic priest, along with his Old Testament chops, to offer a really penetrating commentary that does an excellent job in really a short space on each of the Psalms. A one-volume commentary that's quite good is by Peter Broyles in the New International Biblical Commentary series. Again, excellent insights. This commentary is often on sale in either electronic forms or even hard copies, so you want to watch for this one because this, this is an outstanding resource. John Golden Gay, uh, recently retired from Fuller Theological Seminary, has a multi-volume uh, series in the book Baker Commentary on the Old Testament, Wisdom and Psalms. And you can see this is just 41 Psalms. And, and what Golden Gay, if you're not familiar with his work, He's a rich, imaginative, very theologically driven writer who can bring deep insight, both exegetically and spiritually and even missionally into the text. So if you have some time, I'd recommend spending some time with John Golden Gay's work on the Psalter. Classic evangelical treatment of the Psalms. There are three volumes in the word biblical commentary. This is just the first volume. Each volume is written by a different scholar, but they all three in their own ways model outstanding engagement with secondary literature. Um, as you, if you know the word commentaries, they all come with their own translation, with translation notes, bibliography, interaction with historical critical issues, and finally some theological exp, exp, uh, exposition. So they're all excellent. If you want to try to find something a little challenging, if you're interested in some um, more uh, kind of out there interpretations of the Psalms. This is the Anchor Bible Dictionary or Anchor Bible Commentary on the Psalms by Mitchell Dahoud. And this is a fascinating volume, especially if you're interested in reading the Psalms from the perspective of Canaanite literature. 
good or bad, Dehud was a student of the Ugaritic literature. So he reads the Psalms in a sense to gain the insight and, and brings insights or attempts to bring insights from the Ugaritic literature into the Psalter. So he often has some fairly imaginative reconstructions of Psalms, but if you're interested in some uh, kind of a classic commentary that's important in the history of interpretation, I would suggest having a look at this uh, particular volume. An, another outstanding resource, and I only have it on my Kindle, is by Gerald Wilson, his commentary on the, on the Psalter that uh, was uh, published after his death in the New International Application Commentary Series, and I would strongly recommend it, his, his work on the Psalms. He was a student of Brevard Childs, and uh, he gives re excellent resources. So take a look at that. You can also, again, look at the written bibliography, but I did want to point out some of the, uh, my favorite resources in case you want to consider expanding your library. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Again, I'm Brian Russell. It's a privilege to have you in class, and we will talk to you soon.